talk. Uh, wait until she's done, and then you can ask questions. If you have a question, you can either type the question or you can raise your hand and ask her the question. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi Brother Omar, one, two, three, din. Assalamu alaikum. You hear me? You hear me? Okay. Uh, first, I'm going to say if uh, if I don't talk well, good English, uh, say to me if you don't understand. Uh, okay, I'm going to start to tell my story. Uh, it started with that I met uh, first Muslim. Uh, okay, I'm going to start from the top. Uh, I, from my small, I go in Bible school. Like every Thursday, uh, I go to the, to some place for learn the Bible and uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> now you hear me. Uh, yeah, I go to Bible school every Thursday, and we learn about the Bible. And from I grow up, I I go to, to this school and we go to holidays and go away in the weekend and read about the Bible and. So I was a Christian, and uh, and when I grew up, uh, we grew in a small city, so I didn't know something about Islam. And uh, t till then, I moved to a bigger city. Uh, then I can start a bigger school, and there is a lot of people who was Muslim, and this is the first like I know about. Okay. Uh, surely you know about this in mm, like small things you hear in the TV, but not like I know about Islam. And this is the first time when I get friends and know some small about Islam. Uh, but then I started to work with uh, people from Morocco, Maghreb, and. Um, from there, I started to know about Islam, uh, small, small, uh, and I I met m m my husband in this work, and uh, uh, and first I met his sister, and I become his friend, and that's how I started to know about more, more about Islam. Uh, but the first feeling. When I got, because I always search like I wanted to know the truth, because uh, like I say, I, I I go to this school and Bible school and, but I always felt like if something was missing, like like something wasn't there, and but first because they told me small things about uh, Islam. Uh, uh, and but the first one who I felt something was when I I go to Morocco, Maghreb, uh, was when I hear from the mosque, the mosque, uh, when they call you for pray. And I know many people like uh, in Sweden who I know who I go to to some some. Uh, Arabic country or something, they say to me, oh, you know this voice when they, they scream and like this, but I didn't feel like this. The first time I hear this, I, I felt something. I felt like, wow, what is this? And I didn't feel like like the people say to me uh, that what is this or, or no voice and oh, they call in the morning and the night or what's this? No, I didn't never feel this, and I feel, oh, what, what is this? This is the first one, first one when I started to know. I I wanted to know because before it was them who told me, but now I wanted to know what was this. I wanted to know more about Islam. And before I become Muslim, I uh, I read a lot of. The first one who I started, because the first one who really came to me from the Quran was uh, the to two ocean. You know, they tell a story, not a story, but the two 
uh, these two oceans who go together uh, two different oceans yes and they don't go together uh, this is the first one who I, I know from the Quran and I say this is the truth because I was in that and so long time before and now they know this so this is the first one who who come to me but then I started to uh, with the Bible I take the Bible and I started to to really look into it before before I started with the Quran I, I have read a little bit of such in this and I, uh, you know, locked uh, this uh, man with. He's in Quran too, but it's two different stories. Um, and and uh, this is the first and the locked. And this is what. I find and it's many things like Bad thing. Uh, I know is that uh, is that in in Islam you have one way. If I ask a sister, if I ask a brother, if I ask this sister, if I ask other sister, it doesn't matter where they come from. They 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 told me the same story. But if you ask around in the Christian you know, people you get different stories, you get a different belief. Like in Sweden you have different church. Like this is the Swedish church and then you have name of the church and they believe different things. And you have small groups who believe one thing. But yeah they believe many things the same but it's small things. Now no, I don't believe this and I don't believe that. But uh, how it can be the same religion if you don't believe in, in one thing they say in the Bible and one thing not. And this is the big thing also that I always think about. Like, yes, yeah, a hundred different church and hundred different religion, but it's one religion, but they put it in different. They're going to believe in the Bible and what not. But if it's going to be a true book, you're going to believe the whole book. Not one piece and one piece not and and then you mix. So that was when I started to read the Quran. I it, it always and I I still find things uh, small things like like I say wow how they know this before and how did you know I when I started to read uh, the the Quran when I started to read about the things I I say wow how how can they know this how it, of course this good uh, book of of God because, yeah it's amazing like it's no word who can explain this book like this is the word 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 of Allah and um, so so that's why, and uh, I have many discussions uh, before I've been Muslim, before my mate, mate, uh, oh, no, it's last year, but 
uh, this uh, uh, then I have many discussions in Paltok with people and uh, and they show me also the, the right way so uh, yeah and I read and I oh and I find this the true way uh, uh, I don't know someone wants some question if someone wants to mic and ask something I can answer it is okay Lamalga Waalaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh uh, MashaAllah sister, Jazakallah khair for the uh, for the story and um, Alhamdulillah that you uh, you uh, you remind me of uh, of one of the verses of the Quran. Hmm? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala when he addresses uh, he he addresses the people and even when he addresses the people of Mecca when he ad- he addresses humanity, uh, he said أَفَلَا يَنْظُرُونَ إِلَى السَّمَاءِ كَيْفَ رَفِعَتْ we have you had this uh, this inside this desire inside you this this uh, this you know and um you wanted to uh, to worship God but you wanted to worship God the right way alhamdulillah you discover the truth in islam uh my question to you were is how was your experience when you became muslim with your family uh, especially your parents how, and your friends, and, uh, when you when they know that you became Muslim, how was how was their reaction? And uh, the second question is, um, you know, uh, how did you feel after becoming a Muslim? How was your life? Did your life change? Uh, do you regret, uh, or you don't regret? And uh, I just want to know after Islam, how did, how did you uh, manage to deal with your family? and with Islam at the same time. Thank you. Yeah, assalamu alaikum. Uh, yeah, the first, of course, it's, mm, it's difficult to to find, but uh, it wasn't so difficult. I I close to my family, mm, but uh, to my sister, it's no problem. My small sister, I talk with she about that anything. So when I told she, she didn't, she, she cared about me, but she didn't care, like, uh, I'm gonna say it in the right way, but she, she, she say no problem for she, like, this is my choice. So she, I can talk with anything, and Time ago, but it's be a big for him. But he he accepted because uh, he he had his trouble, and he I think he inshallah maybe he he one day find it, and um, and I tell him and my sister always some small things. I so inshallah they find the right right way. But I have a big family, uh, so my mother, I told she, uh, uh, but it's no problem. My dad, uh, yeah, it's most about the the halouf, but I stopped eat it before, so it's no problem. But he sometimes he he like ah, oh. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. But uh, no problem. Uh, the only problem I have is with my grandma and my grandpa. I don't have problem, no problem. But they they like, oh, you're going to be a woman, you're going to stay in the kitchen, or, oh, you're never going to go out, and, oh, you're going to have this shape, oh, no, oh, nobody going to look you. But, um, but I, I try to explain them small, small steps, but, but you know, they're old, and, and in this time they didn't have many Muslim people in, in Sweden, so. But, um, my friends, uh, they take it good. Uh, I have one close friend. Uh, she always asks me questions. I tell she she wants to know. I tell she a lot of because she likes. Uh, she just before I become Muslim, she she just do uh, this school project of Islam, and she go to to Tunis and she come back and uh, and I have an. Uh, did she how she gonna do and what clothes she gonna have in for she gonna cook with them and and go to the mosque and look the people in Tunisia so she she want to know a lot of I tell she always and so and then yeah they take it good and the feeling I have is is good uh, like the first day I. I look at people and I, I tell myself, why they don't look this? Why they don't find it? It's so good and I feel so good and I was like, yeah, alhamdulillah. Uh, I just wanted to show everybody, I wanted to say to everybody, I, I wanted to, oh, like, how, you must look this, you must find this, you must, uh, but, uh, but this was good and I don't really get great. What do you think? Great, great, anything. And uh, now I just want to, to to know more. I want, I want, I want to teach someone. I want to 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 find some more. I want to show people. I want, you know, I like this. I want, I want to search more. I want to know. I and you know, I just before it was this uh, in I don't know, but. But uh, you know, it's some channel in the TV is named Ekra, and uh, they show us uh, in Hush. And you know, I look every day, and I look, wow, uh, yeah, I know. I look this every day. Every time I come from the work, I put on the TV. I look uh, in Hush when in Saudi Arabia, and uh, every time I go up, I put the TV on, and I look this, and and. Uh, when Hash ended, I, I just wanted to know, know more, I wanted to look at more, and I said, oh, can they show again, and like this, so, inshallah, I go there, okay, uh, okay, take the mic, okay, let's go. MashaAllah, subhanAllah, sister, and uh, basically you, uh, you accepted the religion of Islam, and you wanted to learn more and more, and that's a good thing. So, Subhanallah, you know, in in Sweden, it's a it's a minority. It's hard to uh, to find Muslims. Now, how did you uh, manage to um, like uh, where you live? Could you tell us, like, um, is there in the mosque where you live? Did you go to the mosque? Uh, did you meet other sisters? Um, how do you do your Ramadan and all that stuff? Can you tell us, inshallah? Alhamdulillah, may, may Allah uh, reward you and bless you. And tell us how long you've been Muslim. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, yeah, uh, now I just moved from other city that I, I live. Uh, so they don't have um, mosques. Uh, here, but they inshallah gonna build one. They start now and uh, talk about it. And some man from I think Dubai, he he started to search where he gonna buy. So inshallah, uh, but they have in other city near, but it's yeah, 20 minutes from here. Uh, but in the other city where I come from, uh, where I live uh, before. Some months, and uh, then we had a mosque. 
I built one new. Uh, so that uh, in this city I know uh, some uh, sisters. No, Yadle. Uh, and then I know I have some sister and I talk with them. Uh, so uh, here is more small city. I didn't find some sisters uh, yet. <laughs> uh, I have one. Uh, I find she in Paltok. She lives near. I didn't meet her yet, but I talk with she in the phone. She lives 20, 20 minutes from me. So inshallah, we will see her soon. Um, yeah, uh, like I say, uh, if it's hard, uh, yeah, it's hard uh, in one way because, like, like example, in this city where I move now, is it's not a lot of Muslim. Uh, I don't look a lot of Muslim like in the bigger city because I live in the big city. Before country and so uh, then that I know people and, and that you look people all the time and you look many people with hijab. Mm, but in this city, oh, so yeah, so yeah, a little bit, little bit. But uh, uh, yeah, there. Uh, yeah, and uh, what? Yeah, it's hard um, yeah, work, but uh, for me it's no problem. But some uh, uh, some work is about the shape and these things. And uh, yeah, I married with uh, a Marco Margarit. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, so I I know uh, most Morocco people, but uh, uh, yeah. So it was some more question or I don't remember. Okay, uh, take the mic and ask if something I miss. Okay. Okay, Miriam. Jazakallah khair. Alhamdulillah. And tell your husband. Uh, the guy on mic, he's from Morocco too, and he's telling you uh, to take care of me. Tell him to take care of you, to take good care of you, and uh, to take it easy with you, and to be humble with you because you are a uh, uh, revert, and tell him to uh, stop asking for couscous because uh, you cannot make the couscous for him. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> um I know, I know, I know, I know now he's listening, he's next to you, and he's going to be jumping. Anyway, just tell him that uh, to take care of you, to take good care of you. Okay. And, I, and I think you said that you, uh, you traveled to Morocco, which is a good thing, to leave uh, Sweden to a, a different destination. It doesn't have to be Morocco. But the trip that you did to another country, I'm sure that trip was uh, another experience to really see the Muslim how they live because a lot of people that live in the Western society they don't know much about our lifestyle. Much of the most of the news, most of the stuff they know it's from the T V. But sometimes when they travel away and they go on the other side of the world and they and they live among uh, Muslims, uh, they, they see that uh, it's a different story. You know, uh, people are people. There are there are more good people in the, in, the, in 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 where you live. Sometimes you meet you meet with people very humble, very loving, very uh, you know uh, they just uh, you know treat you uh, very special, and uh, that, that changes a lot of Indian people uh, way of looking at issues. And uh, you know many times uh, you know people will change when they travel, which is a good thing. So Alhamdulillah that you traveled that you went away from, from, from your country and you spent time away and, and alhamdulillah that you have a Muslim husband and uh, inshallah you know uh, that, that whoever is built in the mosque inshallah you have a mosque where you moved because the mosque is very important so you can meet with uh, with more and more and more people inshallah and also remember you said something about your friend you know uh, make sure you you keep in touch with that with that with that person, 
she went to Tunisia and she's interested, make sure you keep in touch with her and help her if you can, because uh, we never know. May Allah, uh, you know, make her Muslim, inshallah. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You know, because uh, as as I, I think she's interested, and uh, she she's she she lived in Tunisia, which is an Islamic uh, country, and I know she came across a lot of Muslims, and uh, for and then you are her friend, so there's a kind of trust that she's built in, inshallah. So, um, please, uh, okay, is, hey, mid our question. What's the question, inshallah? Somebody have a question for you, inshallah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yeah, what's the difference in her life before and after? Now, okay, the question is, Maryam, how do you live as a Muslim and how were your life before Islam? Do you see a change in your life before and after Islam? Okay, take the mic, inshallah. Assalamu uh, alaikum. Yes, uh, I didn't like I don't change all myself, but uh, I I change a lot of my myself. Uh, mm, I always uh, like follow like the, the truth. I want to find the truth, but I always I I I pray when for my small and. Uh, I search for it, for sure. So, uh, but uh, this uh, change is is like uh, like mm, you know, example, uh, you say points. You know the points, points, points. You gonna do good and you get points. Like this, I think about. Uh, like oh, I I don't say something bad and. I gonna do something good to give to the poor, uh, so I save points for myself and for for people. And uh, so this I do, and I think about it every day. And I I say, oh, if I do some say something, you know, do something, and I I try to get get points. And so so I would would say that I become a better person. Uh, to uh, since I've been Muslim because I I think about what I gonna say and I don't try to don't talk some bad about someone so I don't gonna get minus points you know <laughs> and uh, so this change and and how I look on things because now I look it like from the Islam, I, I look, look how you gonna do. I look from the Islam, and not on, only like oh I gonna do this because I I always think before I do something and I think what what is the good way to go and what is the good way to say this and yeah it's about the the point this is, yeah this and I think I answered the question. Good. Or if I not see, ask, ask again. Uh, okay, take the mic and yeah. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Okay, I'm not going to ask you the question if you can read some Quran for us because that's not fair. Because Um Tahira and uh, Um Tahira, sister Um Tahira, she was a she was able she um she she I didn't ask you that question, and so um she should have. Uh, uh, you know, or, uh, tell us to read some Quran. But Alhamdulillah, inshallah, Jazakallah khair, sister, for 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 your story, and may Allah subhanahu wa taala protect your marriage, inshallah. What's the question? Does she miss anything from the past life? Yes, yes, Akhi. La ilaha illallah. We have an admin. He just came to the room. Now he's gonna make things a lot much better. Thank you. Okay, sister Miriam, uh, can you tell us? Did you miss anything from? Uh, from you know, from the time before you became Muslim, do you miss something? Do you say, "Oh, I wish I could do something like this," or you don't have, you don't really think of the past? You know, I know you don't eat pork, so that's a good thing. You know, so did you miss anything from the past, or you are okay? You're very happy uh, with with what you what you're doing now. T take the mic, and inshallah, thank you for your patience. 
السلام عليكم نو اي دونت ميكس اباوت ماي باس اند لايك سام تايمز اي اي سي تو ماي سيستر او تو ماي هاستن اند اي سي لايك تو ماي اولد فرينز لايك اي هاف وان فرينز اي اي ستيل فرينز ويز شي بس اي دونت سبيند لوت اوف تايم ويز شي بس يو نو اي سيند شي هاو ار يو اند لايك ذس بس وين اي اي tell my sister I, I tell she look at look at them if I didn't find find like Islam I gonna be like them like I look look at them and I say what life is this yeah you know I, I don't know if I gonna be like them but you know I look look them and they they do a lot of things and uh, you know I never uh, in my family we never drink and like this so this is not have been the problem for me but when i look at on the the many swedish and many many people is the drinking and or the drink a lot and and the young and like this so when i say to my sister i say well i don't don't understand why they do this so uh, and many of the old friends they drink and they uh, they they do these things that or uh, you look mm, like people uh, or friends and they they get pregnant and they don't know who the father is and that like these things and I say to my sister oh, what do you do and uh, so so no I don't miss even if I didn't was like them but because we we was good <laughs> but um, Um, but um, yeah, but when I look at people in my age or or people who was my friends, I I I just like oh, well, I happy I don't like uh, like them, and I know I don't miss something because I feel myself, and uh, the most I change is is how I how I am, like like I told told before, like the poems. Because I didn't drink and I didn't do these things, so uh, I didn't change like all myself. So no, I don't. I and I don't think I missed something out. Uh, so I'm I'm pleased about the Islam and and I read a little bit up there if 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 I should leave if. Uh, I just don't even want to say it, but if my if I leave my husband, but it's never never gonna happen, inshallah. Uh, hold on. Uh, but um, no, this is my. I find it by myself. Uh, I read by myself, and nobody push me in. Uh, yeah, they help me in the way, but no, I should by myself. And she, also, like his sister always say to me, like. Example, why uh, the hijab? She, she she told me, and she had it. She's a good Muslim, and I, alhamdulillah, she's good Muslim. And she told me, don't take it from the first. Don't rush into everything. And, uh, if you don't want it, if you don't want to put it, don't put it. Take your time, and if you want to put it. So nobody pushed me in. I find it myself, but. Yeah, I I grateful for them because I met them, so uh, they they show me some pieces of the way to find the truth. But I I search it by myself, and I I like I say I search in the Bible and I search from the first, and then I I look the truth. So, alhamdulillah. <laughs> uh, okay, take mic. Oh, Jazakallah khair. So, alhamdulillah, uh, the uh, choice to become Muslim was uh, not pushed by anybody, and uh, it was your choice. Uh, alhamdulillah, uh, with the family, everything so far so good. Uh, alhamdulillah, so um, this is a very good thing. Uh, just the same thing goes for our sister Om Tahira. She, uh, She said the same thing. She said uh, something about uh, the past. She said that I would. She said. Um, <coughs> she said that uh, there is always things we miss, but that's our nafs, our desires. And Alhamdulillah, Allah rewards 
us everything, you know, in 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 return. Which means that not just being a Muslim, uh, being a revert, uh, you know, uh, if you are if you are uh, if you are a Muslim, even raised as a Muslim, your desires is always gonna uh, uh, call you to do something. You always want to do stuff, you know. So so uh, you have we have to leave it. We have to. We have to stop this nafs and we have to fight with it for the sake of Allah. Uh, the reward, as a sister said, will be great. You know, and that's the difference between Muslims and non-Muslims. Non-Muslims, they might not have a restriction. They might not have a restriction on their lives. They might not really care about uh, shall we do this or shall we not do this. But as a Muslim, you retract yourself. And then you said something very interesting. You said. The point, which means the hasanat, the ajr, as a Salima told you, uh, the ajr, the deeds, the good deeds, uh, it, it makes you uh, 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 come close to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. That you, you said, you ask yourself, shall I do this? Shall, uh, well, well, if I do this, is it right or wrong? So you became more aware of the existence of God, and that's uh, something. That we should remember that people say that we believe in God and we also love God, but then the presence of God in the heart is supposed to be all the time. So when we question ourselves, shall we do this? What's the what's the what's the uh, uh, you know? Uh, is it this is going to make me far away from God or this is going to make me closer to God? So that you are a believer. That's the difference between you and somebody else. That's why we Muslims. So we believe in God and we take we take very everything we do very serious. So uh, uh, we stay in connection with God, and uh, you know it makes us different. So when we die, and everyone shall die sooner or later, and we are subjected to uh, to, to death anyway. So um, we will perish. And uh, we we will have to go some 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 day, uh, and and then there's going to be a day as we Muslim we believe the day of judgment is coming. So w- sooner or later we cannot change the destiny. We cannot say oh. So we ha- we believe that there is going to be a resurrection day, and then the resurrection day is going to be a day of judgment. So when we do something, when we leave something, when we give up on certain stuff, when we do not want to follow up with a certain uh, a lifestyle, we will be rewarded for that one. You know, it's like when you prepare yourself for a test, and you make sure you have to memorize uh, what what's, what you're supposed to know. When you go to the test, you get an A plus. That's your reward. And if I don't prepare myself, if I get a a, 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 my, a, C, a C or an F, if I don't if I don't get my degree, I cannot go and and tell and tell and tell the professor or tell the uh, the college that I have to succeed and I need to get my degree. They're going to tell me, they're going to tell me, uh, uh, no, we're not going to give you your degree. You failed your uh, semester, you failed your classes, you have to start from all over again. And the same thing, this life is nothing but a test. As we Muslim, we know that in the Day of Judgment, some will succeed, some will be failure. And personally, we're not. Res- I am not, and you are not responsible for humanity. It's everybody's choice, you know. Like you said, you said um, I see people drinking, and I see, see people doing stuff. And I ask myself, how come they do this? Uh, isn't time for them to stop? You cannot stop everyone, and you cannot uh, push people to become Muslim, and you cannot uh, save everybody, because it's uh, this is something that uh, belongs to God and to God only. So you you start with yourself. And you work with yourself, inshallah. Welcome back, Akhi Jihad. Uh, so, because uh, uh, everything you do now, you you will see it. Uh, you will see the fruit. The fruit of your action will come to you in the day of judgment. People laugh at you sometimes. Oh, look, she's covering. She's covering her head. She looks so funny. She followed this religion of Islam. Muslims look at this guy. Uh, they say they pray five times a day. Uh, they don't drink. Everybody, uh, as a Muslim. You are a very strange person. You you have the criticism. Everybody's criticizing you, you know, and everybody's uh, uh, trying to stop you from taking a, a way of life because Islam is Deen. The word Deen is a way of life. We plan. We make it like we take a pen and we 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 we, we, we draw a, a line and we follow that line. So as a Muslim, we have a we have a way to live until we die. 
people sometimes are not happy with you. They will criticize you. They will try to get you back to a different way. So as a Muslim, you, 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 uh, you, you're supposed to be strong to face this hardship, to face these tribulations, to face these trials, to have a, a, a strong, strong uh, certainty. You have to have strong certainty in your heart that sooner or later you will meet with your God. You have to be uh, uh, strong in your faith that uh, this is your duty uh, as, a, as a person, as a human being. And uh, you remember that uh, you will be rewarded for this uh, uh, in, a, in a day that it will be too late for those people to come back to earth. We know that coming back to earth is not going to happen. Once we die, we die. And when this, when this is over and we will all go in to leave, we cannot come back on earth and say, Oh God, can you give us a second chance? Because God said in the Quran, God said in the Quran, the non-Muslims, the disbelievers, those who rejected God, those who rejected the Quran, rejected Islam, those who refused to worship Allah, those who wanted to live a different life, they would tell God, if you give us a second chance, we will, we will, we will worship you. If you, le if you let us go back again, we will come back and God say, it's, no, you cannot leave. You cannot come, you cannot give, uh, given, you were given one chance and one chance is enough. And if I give you a second chance, you will live and you will not worship me. Because you were given chances after chances after chances. So let me just tell everyone here because I have to release the mic. How many times, how long each one of us live? Huh? They live up to 100 years. They live up to 100 years. It means that you had chances after chances after chances after chances after after chances, but you did not want to take one chance in your life to say La ilaha illallah. It is one word you worship Allah. So even Allah can give you 200, 300, 400, 500 years. You are not going to worship Him because you have already take a, took take a decision to live a certain life to reject God. So. If anyone, anybody thinks that when they die, that God will forgive them and He will give them a second chance, they should, they should remember that this is not going to happen. Their chance is right now. Going to Allah, coming back to God is right now. You're not better than me, you're not better than everybody else. The same way I sacrificed, the same way I took, I took my decision to worship God, the same thing you're supposed to do. Because when you die, you will be, you will be taken to your own funeral, to your own grave, and I will be taken to my own grave. So you and I were the same. As they say, dust to dust, ashes to ashes. We are going to get back, we're going to return to the dust, and we will show, and that's it. So, you're supposed to take your own decisions, you're supposed to choose, you're supposed to decide before it's too late. Inshallah, I would like to ask if anyone here have something to say, inshallah, can, they can raise their hands so I can pass on the mic because I'm ready to leave, inshallah. I have to, inshallah, I have to go attend the prayer, inshallah, in the masjid. I only have like 20 minutes le left. Okay, okay, inshallah, who wants to take the mic, inshallah, can raise their hand because I have to go, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.